Man, it's your boy Taz B. Grind. We back with another video, and today we gotta put this on. And we are doing a review of the Pedal Commander after I have been tuned and driving around with it for three months. So let's get into it. First things first, we gotta kick off the video with a cold start. You already know how we get down. in the car and get straight to action i can't believe this last video i was so happy well i wiped it down now but it rained on my car man this is crazy i don't know if y'all see all this it was bad i wiped it down with my tile and stuff so a good thing to know that the tire shine still on there shining i guess that's a plus for those who don't know who i am my name is taz this is a car based channel I'm about to create another channel where I'm probably gonna be doing the reactions and uh, reactions, my daily vlogs and all that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, like I was saying, for those who don't know who I am, my name is Taz, as you can see in my channel name. I try to do everything on this channel, DIY that I can, installations, reviews, unboxings, and just car content in general. So yeah, enough talking, let's get into this. There we go, y'all, that's the last piece right there. That's the last piece of carbon fiber before I get the steering wheel. So we just go get the steering wheel. Got the shit now, everything coming together real nicely, y'all. All right, man, let's really get to the video. I'm cutting around the corner, so let's get it. As y'all can see, we finally in the car and I got the pedal commander, so is the pedal commander still worth it? Typically when I use the pedal commander, I drive in Sport, sport 2, so we gonna go drive in Sport 2. I haven't used the pedal commander since the car been tuned. And so I'm gonna see if it make a difference because you know, I never really use the pedal commander. I did when I first got the car, like when my car was tuned, I, I told the tuner just to give me more throttle response, which is what the pedal commander is for. We gonna answer five questions while we driving with the pedal commander. Five questions that I came up with that people might have. typically stay in sport too anything more than that is ridiculous in my opinion it isn't needed i mean to i don't think it works anymore. no it definitely works <laughs> oh, oh my god it, it <laughs> works in reverse it definitely works in reverse jeez i didn't think it worked in reverse. oh my god why is this yanking my head Bro, it, you're wrong to me unless you had a drag strip or something like that i don't even sport plus is not even usable 
let's be completely honest like sport plus is not even usable man i tried it and it's just not usable at all like my favorite mode is sport uh sport is just regular sport too because it seems like it gives you enough like Even sometimes I only turn it on even when I just want to just have fun. Like I don't drive with my pedal commander on at all times. Sometimes it can be a little excessive. So question number two. Does it add horsepower? No. Like I said earlier, it just gives you more throttle response. It's like it just gives you more gas than you're giving it. Like, like it, it just gives it to you faster. Pause. But that question has been answered. So let me see. Got another question. Another thing that somebody might have asked a question about. Was it worth it? I'd say it was worth it. Yes. It's more. It's really worth it for somebody that don't have a tuned car. To me, it's for a person that like got a stock car or like they got like basic mods. But they don't want to tune their car, but they want more throttle response. You can do that. You, you can do that, most definitely. It'll give you what you're looking for. But if you're just like, you know, if you already tuned, you're heavily modded, the, the pedal commander is not needed, you know. It's like, I rather, you rather just keep your car with the, um, with the tune you got just tell your tuner to add more throttle response to it so yeah should you get one i say yes i would recommend a pedal commander to anybody that don't got one because it's actually like a pretty nice tool to have it because it also that you also could control it so like you can also put your car in eco mode something called eco mode to where like if you got like your car valet or something like that, you could just put it in eco mode and like your car won't go over like a certain percentage of throttle, you know what I'm saying? So that's another good thing. And overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the Paddle Commander. It was worth it. I think it's a little pricey, but it was worth it. If you could get one like or lower than 300 bucks, like I would say Paddle Commander probably max like 200 bucks but excuse me i'm getting the car wash at the moment so but like i said overall it's a pretty good investment i'm happy with it so would i do it all over again probably so watch for y'all real quick All right, man, I'll be back after this. All right, I'm about to get on, wipe this car down. But before we get on and do that, I also got to tell you guys some more good news we got. So, um, recently, I called this morning. We're going to go get the car on the dyno this week, Wednesday. Hopefully, it's no rain. He told me. He also gave me a quote about um, putting on the headers, which he said they're going to start at 700. That's better than a 963 which was gonna turn to a thousand dollars after tax to put on the headers at the other shop. So I think we're gonna be going with horsepower techs. They um gross back, and I'm gonna get the exact number. I'll put in, I'll put it right there on the screen. And uh, yeah, we're gonna be going there. We're gonna get my my free sample runs on the dyno. And then we're also going to be going with them to put the headers on the car. So with them, we could put the headers on this month. So probably by the end of this month, I'll be having headers on the car because that thousand was pretty steep. I didn't really want to spend a thousand to put headers on. I thought that was ridiculous. I was like, if I was going to spend a thousand, I'd rather just sit there and struggle under jack stands, put my own pipes on for a thousand. But yeah so now this way i could put the headers on and i can go get uh give me a gauge you know for my monitoring my temps and all that kind of stuff i get i'm probably gonna get like the little p3 gauge but all that will be fire so now i can get two two things for the price of one which i'm still gonna have to get it tuned so yeah who knows i might get it tuned there you never know so but i don't want to get it tuned there because i'm gonna have to buy credits all over again that's gonna be like a 500 dollars 
that's all I got for y'all. We about to go. We about to go wipe this down. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna I'm go ahead and skip around real fast, and we gonna get back on the road so I could do a, uh, a few pulls for you guys so we can wrap up this video. So not trying to sit out there in that sun. That's one thing for sure. All right, uh, let's get this show on the road. So my favorite modes. Let's get back to this. My favorite modes are Sport 1 and Sport 2. I typically drive every day or around when I got it on in Sport 1. It give you the perfect amount of auto response if you want. I don't like when it give you that extra, extra stuff. Oh my God. I just like it when it give you what you need. Like I like to get rid of that little dead pedal ass. So. irritated i'm full of sweat man frustrated then broke the the torque or the breaker bar trying to break the bolts the rim shot that put my loneliness on i forget that every rim shot they use like that um air tool they use air they use air drills like it broke my freaking breaker bar so i was getting ready to put the springs on my car but that broke so whoop, can't do that anymore so this video is gonna get delayed. So sorry for the disappointment, but I'll catch y'all next time. I was actually putting the springs on my car, but I broke the breaker bar. I had the wrong size. A 3A is trying to pull off lug nuts. It's not, lug nuts is just not the way to go. You wanna have like a half uh a half a half inch uh drive breaker bar. Yeah man, if you like the video, hit a like comment and then subscribe but if you don't got a pedal commander get you one